War Game. <laughs> Come on, let's see. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Goodbye, Fei Long. Welcome back, guys, to another video. My name is TJ. And you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and all that jazz, man. And also, guys, I do live streaming. And I have a second channel, which is where I do my vlogs. So check it out. But anyways, guys, so I recently posted a video from Ryusuke and on how he released a sick mod in Street Fighter V of Fei Long. And you awesome FGC peeps commented that the reason why we're not getting Bruce Lee, either number one, Capcom is not going to pay the Lee family licensing fees, and the Bruce Lee family just don't no longer want his likeness representing video games so that had me thinking so i dug out an old article guys let's check it out okay so there was an article from nintendo life we're gonna read it here guys we're gonna read it. so this is where it all stemmed from guys the original story which was published the 10th of may 2022 street fighter street fighter fans might want to pour one out of the favorite characters that have been a part of the series ever since Super Street Fighter 2, at least according to Street Fighter 5 composer Daniel Lindham, as you will have seen if you read the headlines and saw that the image above, it seems that Fei Long may not appear at all in Street Fighter fighting games. Hmm, interesting. The character Fei Long and the martial artist and action film star from Hong Kong is Capcom's tribute to legendary martial artist and action film star Bruce freaking Lee. I love Bruce Lee. Absolute love. And it seems that the Lee family has recently changed his mind when it comes to non-serious depictions of the deceased actor. As discussed in the composer's stream on the 7th of May, comedic interpretations are reportedly a sticking point. And Lindham says that the depictions must be honorable from this point on. And it's all thanks to that movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. If you guys haven't seen it, there's a scene where they have Bruce Lee in it, but chase him as a bully. He gets his ass beat by Brad Pitt. I'm not a fan of it. Okay, and I believe that that actually did tarnish Bruce Lee's legacy. Okay, anyways, it says here, a character that I know that we won't say at all, there's been a lot of discussion about it. I mentioned earlier, a character I would like to rewrite a music for would be Fei Long. I do have other sources, not only Capcom, but friends of mine in the US who are very close friends with the Lee family. And they basically said that any kind of resemblance of Bruce Lee is now omitted for comedic effect. It needs to be honorable. That's why we won't see Fei Long again ever. Interesting. Okay, so then it goes up here. The Bruce Lee family has responded to the claim, which Linda says has hypothetical thinking. We never made any comments of this nature. We have no idea who Daniel Lindham says his close friends of the family are. But his comments are entirely false around the Bruce Lee family. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We'll go up to update three. So he says, Capcom has finally provided a response to the bizarre saga surrounding the character of Fei Long. In speaking with Eurogamer at the Summer Game Fest, Takayuki Nakayama, the director of, up, director of upcoming Street Fighter VI, had the following to say regarding Fei Long's potential return to the series. The whole Bruce Lee estate information they mentioned turned out not to be real. I can't say whether he is coming or not, but there is definitely no legal issue. And that's interesting. That's really interesting, guys, because you think about it. Talking about depicting Bruce Lee in an honorable way, he's in Tekken, okay? And he's a bit goofy in Tekken, okay? So that's very comedic to me, man. And Fei Long's pays absolute tribute to Bruce Lee. Like, personally, Fei Long's a sick character. Yes, if you haven't seen Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, stop, stop this damn video and watch it now. One of the best animes ever. Anyways, there's a scene where Ryu fights Fei Long, and spoiler alert, Fei Long loses. It's a freaking sick fight, guys. And just to let you guys know, I'll be releasing a video soon ranking from best to worst or from worst to best Street Fighter media. Anyways, let's continue. Anyways, as I was saying, so is it true? The question is, are we ever going to get Fei Long? If the director of Street Fighter 6 says there's no legal issues, is it just a money thing? Is it just a paying a licensing fee? Because we know Capcom's got the money now, man. They're freaking dishing out million dollar pool prizes for Capcom Cup. They got the money, man. They paid a lot of money for Ninja Turtles outfit for Battle Hub. So Capcom, I would rather you guys stop doing these collaborations for Battle Hub and just spend it all on Fei Long. We want Fei Long back. I reckon Fei Long would be a such an awesome awesome addition to street fighter 6 it'd be great it'd be great to see the twins and jamie and fei long it'd be sick it'd be super sick man so guys in short we don't know what the future holds for fei long one hand capcom saying there's no legal issues and the other hand tech and have him so only time will tell but anyways guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace